Alright guys, so in my previous video, my last couple previous videos actually, I've been talking about the number 6 wallet and how it transferred its Dogecoins um, up to the number 1 wallet. And so if you guys seen that, um, I'm not going to cover that again, but I am going to cover some other things. So, I just wanted to go in and kind of look like, okay, so we've seen where some of the Doge was being sent to. So I want to go ahead and look and see if any of them, any of the, more of the Doge that's been sent. Okay, so it looks like it was sent to this address. All right, one second. All right, so. And I apologize, this video might be kind of long. I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I find, so I might not talk a whole lot. Um, I'm, maybe I'll try and add some music in. But one thing that you will notice about a lot of these wallets that I'm going to use as an example is, is they've had a lot of deposits of Doge, and then shortly thereafter, um, that Doge was removed from the wallet. And to a zero balance and then it was more Doge was transferred in and then it was put to a zero balance and we've had that continued activity um, over the last couple of days and it's been there's been a lot of these transactions and as you see these are no small transactions these are all relatively large transactions of Doge and so this is wherever this is this is likely um, maybe an exchange. So that's one of the places where uh, some of that doge was sent to. So let's go ahead and look at one of the other transactions and see if it's sent, being sent to the same address. And we see that's the same address. So that's likely the exchange that they sold them Doge coins on. So I do believe that that wallet that we were just looking at is an exchange wallet. Now this wallet here, I do not believe it is an exchange wallet. And so now we're going to look at one last place where they sold uh, or they transferred their Doge out of or sold whatever the case may be, and it's the same address. So you know that's just something to be curious about. All right, we can go ahead and get rid of that wallet. All right, now let's go ahead and look at where these buys are coming from. You know, where where's this? You know, it's really interesting to see where its Doge is going, but where is it getting its Doge from? I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one right here because it's, you know, rel. Well, actually, I'm gonna look at this one. It's the largest, 613. Or six hundred, yeah, six hundred sixteen billion Doge, million Doge. Sorry about the tongue tied. It's a lot of information. All right, and so here's all the addresses where this six hundred and seven billion Doge came from. Came from all these different addresses, and as we see. Um, there was another the other eight billion right there, so that made up the total, which we see in six hundred and sixteen. So if we look, some of these are the same repeated addresses, so there's just multiple transactions. So one thing that I wanted to go ahead and point out is okay, so right here guys, this is still the the number six wallet. Um let's look at just a the top three of these different um, wallets where it's getting where it's buying its doge from or transferring its doge from so we don't know whether these are buys or just you know transfers so I just want to be clear on that so and we see a lot of the repeated history these are you know most likely exchanges I guess um, I don't know it's pretty odd I still feel like it would be pretty odd behavior for this to be an exchange to just stack up stack up stack up you know and then dump all at once stack up so I'm not really sure what this is about 
but I do believe that this is you know a big a pretty big deal so let's go ahead and look at the other two wallets and I'm sure they're all gonna look the same yeah so it's the same it looks like the same thing pretty much you know it's just a bunch of inputs so maybe these are I don't see how this could be a mining operation look we see every look that's 10 seconds that's two seconds apart uh, two minutes apart uh, I'm sorry two seconds I meant minutes so anyways as we see though on the time we can just see that these are really close together and the days are not very far spread apart and this just started on 9-11 this particular wallet so this is very interesting so let's see when these other ones started 9-11 alright let's just go click on a couple different ones I'm going to try not to be too long here, but, you know, I just want to, the more evidence that I can show you guys, the, you know, the more you have to see for yourselves. And 9-11, okay. Interesting. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go back to the main wallet here. And go back. Alright, so, you know, we're definitely seeing this really interesting activity going on. So what does this mean for this wallet? Overall, I really don't know, other than the fact that it is increasing its doge hold. So, I'm just really curious about these transactions, though, on where they're coming from, and, you know, because these definitely... You know, just going back and looking again, and we see these are different addresses. So we'll, let's go ahead and look at a few of these as well to compare and see how these may differentiate or if they're still, you know, the same types of thing here. So I, I just can't help but to get the feeling that there's just some type of massive operation going on involving dogecoin yeah I, I don't know but as we can see this is pretty much the same thing as all the others this is a lot smaller volumes but um this one was started on the fifth so all of these, wherever all this doge is coming from, this is all relatively new wallets. So, you know, that's strange. And we see here the fifth. And it's still going today. And it has the same type of activity. So are these the the wallets that they're using for their buy and sell walls or I mean just just look at this you know it's just really strange and these are just all different wallets as you can see it's just not making much sense and this wallet was just created yesterday and as we can see big input all of it withdrawn that looks like a test all of it withdrawn so you know I don't really know what much further I can do to look into this and figure this out but I would definitely like to further find more um, information regarding this so I would really like if anybody knows um, some things that might be able to help me dig a little bit deeper into this you know I would definitely appreciate that uh, because right now I'm, I'm running into a bunch of walls um, so to say you know this is a pretty big buy right here on the 10th I'll look at that so I'm just running into some walls and I'm really curious as to where um, what's what do you guys think is the wallets and because I feel like some of these 
have to be exchanges. You know, I just don't see any way there they wouldn't be. But at the same time, it, they just have really odd behavior from, um, you know, where do exchanges get their Doge coins? You know, do they buy them in bulk from? Who do they buy? Who do the distributors get their Doge coins from? You know how? You know who distributes from from that point. So that's just really what I'm trying to look into. I want to feel, uh, figure out exactly how these things are being moved. That way, maybe be able to understand it a little bit more. But we do keep seeing these um, same types of patterns. You know, massive deposit, all withdrawn. So you know these could definitely see this doesn't look like an exchange to me but it could be so we see all these doge was put in in just a matter of of sh a short time really and then you know of course it was all dumped and we see the same thing so are they just like tying up the loose ends making it to where um, it's harder to track their activity because all these wallets are just kind of looking dead end ish so one thing I did want to do is I did want to look into maybe one of the wallets that so okay so here's what I wanted to do I'm just gonna go ahead and do it all right so we're going to look into this wallet right here because it had the biggest input of Doge. And it was created on the 9th. And so we're seeing all these wallets, or it was, I, okay, I can't say that it was created. That's just whenever its first deposit was. So, you know, that's really curious that all these wallets are just popping up around the same time and they have such massive amounts of Doge fluctuating in between. You know, it definitely looks like some type of operation of some sorts so what I wanted to look at is where is this wallet getting its doge so we're gonna see where its original doge came from and it looks like it all came from this wallet right here And it looks like this wallet right here sent all this Doge distributed up into all these wallets. So, you know, that might be something that we could also look into. Let's go ahead and check out what this wallet looks like. And, of course, we see the same thing the same continued activity that we've been seeing and this wallet goes back a lot farther but this wallet has had much more activity if we look and see just how active it is you know it's it's very active it's trading pretty much all hours of the day and you know it's making trades pretty much every few minutes definitely doesn't look like it rested in the last okay so it takes a break from 9 until 14:58 so that's we've seen that so if we look it took a break from 9 until 14 so that's the sleeping period i guess that you know that's just kind of strange and we can we can just see that all this doge all this doge came from this wallet so where's this wallet getting its doge well we're going on a goose hunt a wild goose hunt guys so just want to look for a big transaction let's go and see how far back it goes you know cuz this wallet could go pretty far back and yeah, we're not going to keep scrolling, guys, because um, this wallet is, um, it goes deep.
so we could actually see a lot of history from this wallet this wallet could I don't know but uh we can go back pretty far and as we see this wallet right here has been extremely active at all hours of of you know pretty much you know it skipped a couple days there but skipped a couple days but it's just been very active and you know right around the time let's go back up here and see how it was operating during the big breakout that we had just not too long ago around the 31st so as we see um, still operating pretty normal to compare to what it is so we get up around the 22nd starts to well it's really hard to say because all of these are in and out in and out in and out so you know where is it getting its doge from is back to the question so we're gonna go up here to the more recent we're gonna see where it got its last doge from and it looked like it got its last doge from this wallet so let's go ahead and check out where this wallet goes and we see the same thing again it looks like funnels guys it looks like they're just like funneling the doge through as many different wallets as possible um, that way they can't be tracked so let's go ahead and see where this doge came from because we know where it went okay so from this wallet right here You guys might want to fast forward till the end of this video because this might take a while. <laughs> and hopefully uh, we have at least a good discovery at the end. All right, and we see, we want to see where this doge came from. So we're going to keep tracking down this doge. And it came from this wallet. looks like I've already searched that wallet so that's okay so now it's taking me in a circle okay because I went there and we just clicked on this block right here where that doge came from and it's taking us right back over to here okay HP so we'll click on the HP one and it's definitely looks like it's trying to loop us in a circle here but let's outsmart it where did the doge go? And first off, where did this doge come from? Right. <clears throat> and we'll see that the doge went to the wallet where you know it came from. But it was also leading us back to that same wallet, which is leading me to believe that not only is it getting its doge from this wallet, it's also sending it back. see where this doge goes I don't know what it is with this number but it's around this this 34 you know there's just so many <sighs> okay where's this doge come from that STK wallet we keep coming back to that STK So is the STK the exchange? Probably reading too much into this, but you know I'm just really curious where where all this Doge is coming from. You know, as we're going into all these other wallets here, we're seeing a lot more activity that um, I, I do believe that I'm in on the trading uh, bots. All I believe a lot of these that we're looking at are actually bot 
um, that ran on a macro and they're doing their duty and maybe that duty is to just continually trade between wallets uh, to confuse people um, because if they are doing illegal, illegal activity you know that would be the smartest way for them to cover up their tracks is just to ex uh, exchange back and forth through a series of wallets you know and the good thing about dogecoin is it has a low um, cost you know as we can see uh, if we go on to the block to transfer this amount of doge you know it's a very cheap fee you know it costs two doge to transfer 33 uh, million doge so you know that's ridiculously cheap so they can just sit here and transfer back and forth amongst their own wallets and um, it's very very cheap for them it's like nothing and so I do believe that that's what's happening is they are trying to cover up any tracks that they have left and uh, we have seen all these increase in new wallets come up over and it, it, since at the beginning of the video we noticed a lot of them started coming up um, this month actually and I wonder if that's something to do with all the activity that um, people have been bringing to the top wallets so maybe they're getting nervous and they're starting to cover up their tracks that's what it definitely looks like to me um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I do know that this video has went on for a really long time and if any of you are actually still watching I do appreciate your time I'm sorry that it took so long for me to get to this conclusion. I was honestly just going through and looking at it with you. Um, so I was learning the same information as I was showing. And, you know, I was just talking about it as I went. So I, I just definitely appreciate you guys watching. And let me know what you guys think. You know, I know it's a lot of confusion. But, you know, I, I do believe it's also a lot of insight. So with that being said... Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.